as the first female, our first female mayor of Salt Lake City, Utah, and a member of the Olympic Organizing Committee's executive board, Dee Dee Corradini. I love that name. That just like rolls off. Dee Dee Corradini. Don't mess with Dee Dee. <laughs> Fought hard for gender equal games during the years leading up to the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics. Now president of the Women's Ski Jumping USA, Didi won a slot for female ski jumpers in the next Olympic Winter Games. Didi is also president of the International Women's Forum. That organization has advanced women's leadership around the globe since 1982 and today provides opportunities for members to connect with female leaders in over 26 countries. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Didi Corradini. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for this honor. Um, I actually do, I did run for office, I was elected. <laughs> the first female Democrat, non-Mormon mayor of Salt Lake City. <laughs> and I am involved in trying to get women in Utah to run through a new organization we've just founded called Real Women Run. But that's not why I'm being honored. I'm president of Women's Ski Jumping USA. Um, and so this is a little bit of a different twist. Men have been ski jumping in the Olympics since 1924. Women have been ski jumping since the late 1800s in skirts. Imagine. But have not been allowed to compete in the Olympics. I didn't know this as mayor of Salt Lake when we were getting the 2002 games. We got women's skeleton and women's bobsleigh into the 2002 games. Nobody ever said women still can't ski jump. And our, I'm from Park City, Utah. Our entire team, the United States team, is in Park City, Utah. And we have one of the best teams in the world. And when I found out, I got angry. I know the International Olympic Committee and how they work. And we tried to do it nicely. Bottom line is they were discriminating against these women and we finally had to sue. We had to fight because they told us no over and over again. These women have been discriminated against for so long. And just so you understand, these women are going 60 to 65 miles an hour down an in run and flying a football field and a half. These are phenomenal athletes. And so bottom line is we sued the Vancouver Organizing Committee to try to get the women into Vancouver 2010. We won on the issue that the International Olympic Committee is discriminating against these women, but she said nobody controls the International Olympic Committee, so they did not jump in Vancouver 2010. But I am pleased to announce that for the first time in history, we will have the first gender equal Olympics in history in Sochi 2014. And I just want to dedicate my honor to the women athletes of this world because sport makes a huge difference in the lives of women and girls. We need girls to get into sport. They stay in school, they don't get pregnant, they don't get on drugs, they learn teamwork, and they learn leadership. So sports is a very critical thing for young girls and women, so please encourage it. Thank you so much for the honor.